Hi guys, it's Ray with Ray's Turquoise Turtle. Today we're going to start a new cup. I um, showed you in that other video uh, this cup. And I'm going to show you how I did this one, what I used, and we'll make a new one. So I ran into Five Below looking for... Um, the cups to do the snow globe tumblers and they didn't have any but I happened to look at their art wall which I haven't looked at in a very long time and they had these illustration markers it was an 18 pack for four dollars it had a good color selection so I figured I would try them on a tumbler if they didn't work on a cup I would use them for something else so this is what I'm going to use I'm going to take three colors I'm going to use the ultramarine the pink and I'm gonna pull in the red so those are the three I'm gonna use obviously I use blues gray and black on this one so and I was pleasantly surprised how well these worked so I also have some 91% isopropyl alcohol a little cup a paper towel and just a cheap paintbrush and that's everything I'm going to need at this point. So these have a fine tip and a chisel tip. I'm going to use the chisel tips for this project. They call them broad. But... Uh, if you have some of the bigger name brand markers like this, I mean, these are clearly made to look like them. Or if you have any of those Amazon sets, you can give them a try too. I'm probably going to at some point order one of the larger Amazon sets. Um, now that I know how well they work. So, I am just going to start by coloring in sections of the cup. You can make your lines as fat or skinny as you want. But you see how nicely they go on. Um, I'm going to show you my spray paint in a second. I've been asked a couple times if I'm using sublimation tumblers, which I am not. Um, but I am using a glossy paint currently. My pink isn't going on all that great right now. I may have to blot this tip. This might not even be the pink I thought I grabbed. <laughs> I think it might be when I tested them all. Might have been this color pink. I might have been intending to use the coral. The pastelier colors don't go on the very best. I mean, they work and they actually make nice accents, so I might keep some of it blended in, but. Um, this is the spray paint I bought last time. You can see I've already burned through this can. Uh, it's the Rust-Oleum Painters Touch 2X Ultra Cover Paint and Primer in Gloss White. Um, I know a lot of people tell you only to do your tumblers in matte, but for a technique like this or any of my alcohol techniques, really a semi-gloss or a gloss is better because the matte is actually going to soak in your pigment where the gloss is going to allow it to ride on top and for the fact that we're going to be blending this all out we need it on the surface workable if that makes sense so um, for that reason i am going to go with gloss Plus, it's what they had in stock. So, and as we all know, um, 
spray paint's been a little bit harder to come by these days. And I know you think red and purple is not going to be good. Trust me. Trust the process. So I'm going to um, go ahead and speed this up and finish it off in high speed, this part. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of alcohol in my cup. Not too much to start because I may be dumping it out and freshening it up. I'm gonna take my brush and get it damp. And actually I'm gonna grab a different brush. So bear, I'm gonna grab my brush and I am just going to pick a spot and I'm I'm gonna grab a different brush in a minute here because this one is not the one I wanted for this. I didn't want this long, wispy one. So, hang on. Alright. Take three with the brushes. I'm just going to start blending. The more alcohol you put on it, the more it'll run. That's okay. But I think overall, I am pretty happy with this. This is more of like a watercolory marble than this. I kept like straighter lines, but it's what I was going for. So I'm going to put this down to dry a minute. I'm going to move this out of the way. And I am going to go ahead and do some... Um, copper leaf flake veins on this one so I'm gonna get set up for that and I will be right back okay so what I have here is my tack it over and over mixed up about 50% water I just keep it in a little container ready to go when the container shot I toss it because these are like 10 for a dollar 25 at the Dollar Tree so I'm going to use, like I said, the copper flakes because to me these look closer to rose gold than copper. And I'm just going to pick a couple spots um, 
I want to keep these lines relatively thin. I'm just going to kind of chase a couple of the lines where it looks like a vein would be good. Okay, so these are my gold, or yeah, copper leaf pieces. Um, these are so tightly compressed in these containers that you have to kind of, and I wish I'd worn gloves because I'm going to be leafing my fingers, but that's all right. Um, you have to kind of like pull them apart a little bit. So... And I actually, I have this on a little tiny piece of paper towel. My fingers are already sticky. Um, <laughs> I have this on a little piece of paper towel, but I do need a sheet of paper. All right. I got one sitting right here. Sometimes I can pick them up with a paintbrush, or in this case, a stencil brush. And you can see this is still three or four sheets of leafing high. But start filling in your sticky spots. If you can't see them, just run the leaf over it. It'll catch. going to get this contained before they fly all over. So this is just a really stiff stencil brush from um, Dollar Tree, but I will use that to burnish down and remove all of the excess. And just kind of scrub over each line in a circular motion. There you have it. That is the veining. And I'm going to get some resin mixed up and we will get this under resin. I haven't decided on a decal for it yet, so um, I've been kind of on an assorted mom decal kick. Um, this one was using different markers. I'll get to one like this soon, but you know, just showing you. So, I'm going to get this over to the turners and get some resin mixed up, and I'll be back. Okay, I am ready to get the resin on this beauty. I'm going to get my turner turned on, which requires finding the right switch. There we go. So, I just have 20 milliliters of KS resin um, liquidy split mixed up. It's pretty thin because it's warm in my room. So it ought to go on pretty easily and relatively bubble free. But I love it. I think it's beautiful. I told you to bear with me with the red and the purple. I told you there was a method to my madness and I think it looks fantastic overall so i'm gonna let this spin i will figure out what i'm gonna do for a decal and i will be back okay so i put a very simple mom decal on this i had originally cut a decal and the color pink i cut was <laughs> not good on this so and i didn't feel like recutting the one i'd originally cut because it was a nightmare 
but I have a botched version of this that I'm going to do um, and do something different with instead of stripping it. So I think I'm going to use the decal I cut for this one on that one. So I'm just going to get a coat of resin on here before this resin sets up because it is liquidy split and it is getting warm. So just a very simple mom decal. So well, that is it for this one. Five below markers for a marbled ink type look. Um, you're going to hear me address this in another video, but the markers that I used for this one, I do not believe are alcohol ink markers. Um, I do have alcohol markers from Five Below and they're packaged different, they're marked different, they're different brands. So people keep asking what type of markers these are. I have no idea. I mean, if they are in fact a Copic knockoff, then I would think they were alcohol. But without it specifically saying so, I really couldn't tell you. So I'm not trying to mislead anybody by saying they're not alcohol markers, but they're not labeled and branded as alcohol markers. So I can't confirm or deny it, even though I don't know. They just say they're art markers or illustration markers. So what does that even mean? So um, that's it for this one now. I'm just gonna torch it real quick, get those bubbles off. Um, I do think I'm going to gear up to have a sale soon. Um, and there's gonna be a lot of mom tumblers and mama tumblers in that sale. So. Uh, if you're interested in a cup that you've seen me make recently, you can let me know in advance of the sale and I'll let you know if it's one that's going to be available so I can hold it for you. Um, but that is it. I absolutely love the way the copper flakes look on this color palette. I love how marbled this ended up looking. Like, I actually like this better um, than some of the ink ones I've done. So, pretty happy with it. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.